The shocking XRP cryptocurrency news will show you the truth. Now, this video is going to be all about XRP and how it has been treated unfairly. Now, I'm going to show you exactly why XRP has been treated very, very unfairly and it's been a witch hunt against your XRP. And at the end of this video, I'm going to play you this short one minute clip of Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, basically saying what would happen if XRP loses this lawsuit or if we win. So this video is very important. You want to watch all the way through. But before before we continue, if you have not yet joined us, or if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe because we speak about XRP, about cryptocurrency every single day because it is the future. And we are doing a 1000 HBAR giveaway. Yes, all you have to do is go to my homepage, amenmufleh.com. You scroll down and you put in your email address. Like for example, my email address is amenmufleh09 at yahoo.com. And that's it. That's all you have to do to enter the 1000 free HBAR giveaway. And if you want to enter multiple email addresses, to increase your chances of winning, all you have to do is refresh the page and you can put in as many email addresses as you want, but they need to be legit. They need to be good email addresses because that's how I'm going to contact all of the winners. So let's get right into today's video because this shocking news is very important and you need to see this. Now, all I ask again is to just destroy the like button. It literally takes one second. So that's all I ask from all of you. If this video makes sense to you or if you learned anything new, join us also and let's keep going. Now, in December of 2020, the SEC charged two Ripple executives for selling billions of dollars worth of XRP and they said that it's a security. But recently, just a few days ago, the SEC told Coinbase that they also are listing other securities. And those other cryptos that are securities by the SEC, there are nine of them. AMP, Rally, DDX, XYO, and all of these cryptos right here. But why is this SEC news just a few days ago important to your XRP? You must be asking yourself, why is this important, right? Because the nine cryptocurrencies that the SEC listed as securities, ironically, are built off of Ethereum. Yes, you heard that right. All of the nine cryptocurrencies that the SEC is saying that are securities literally are Ethereum-based cryptocurrencies. So how does it make sense that those cryptos are securities, but Ethereum is still not a security? Like they're not going after Ethereum, but they're going after XRP for some reason. Like, for example, this is AMP token. This is the first crypto that the SEC is saying is a security. And as you can tell, it is listed on Etherscan. And any crypto that's listed on Etherscan basically is built off of Ethereum. So AMP is the first crypto that's built off of Ethereum. The second cryptocurrency that was mentioned in the report was Rally, this right here. And it is also built off of Ethereum, as you can tell. Token Rally, Rally Token, built off of Ethereum. Third one, Deriva Dex. This is a website right here, again, it's on Etherscan, so that means it's built off of Ethereum. Next one we have is XYO. Also, you guessed it, built off of Ethereum. It's on Etherscan. Rary Capital, again, it's an Ethereum-based cryptocurrency. LCX as well, it is a reg regulated cryptocurrency in, I believe, Liechtenstein, but also they were built off of Ethereum. It's on Etherscan. Power Ledger is another crypto that's a security by the SEC, and they also are built off of Ethereum. Next, we have DFX, and you guessed it, again, built off of Ethereum. Chromatica Dex is the last one, again, you guessed it, Ethereum-based cryptocurrencies right here on Etherscan. So that is why I say that this XRP lawsuit with the SEC is very suspicious, to say the least. The fact that the SEC is suing or going after those other small cryptos, but they're not going after Ethereum, how does that make sense? Like all of those cryptos are literally built off of Ethereum. So if those are securities, then it's a very high likelihood that Ethereum also is a security. Now I want all of cryptos to succeed and to thrive in the next few years. But the fact that XRP is one of the only cryptocurrencies in the whole world that is being treated unfairly really like pisses me off. 
off. And again, if you agree that this does not make sense, this witch hunt, this lawsuit needs to end soon, uh, join us. If you have not yet already, what are you waiting for? Destroy the like button if you have not yet already. Now, speaking about the lawsuit ending and what would happen if XRP loses or wins, listen to what Brad Garling has ha house had to say about the lawsuit, okay? This is quick. It's like one and a half minutes and that's it. So destroy the like button, subscribe if you have not yet already, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Listen. What happens, right? If you do not get a ruling in your favor, XRP is call a security. In um, the United States. You would be out of the United States. No, no, no. I was clarifying Listen. your question. The, the, the SEC oh, only has jurisdiction in the United States. Yep. And in some ways, uh, if you think about how the world is operating right now, Listen. it's as if the case has been lost. You know, uh, other than on uphold and maybe a few other exceptions, you can't okay. trade XRP in the United States. You know, Coinbase halted trading, uh, others delisted it. So if, if we lose, if Ripple loses the case, does anything change? Like it's basically just, it's status quo, Ripple. I wanted to stop him real quick. So that's true. If XRP loses, it won't really make that much of a difference because XRP is already delisted off of major exchanges. But if we win, then we're going to have explosive pumps, okay? So the future looks bright. Listen, listen. It's still growing very, very quickly. Uh, well, there are still people betting that you, you could win this case. Well, I, I, yeah, I, mean, I, I think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> Leave your comments down below. Do you think we're going to win or lose? I want to hear from all of you. Do you think we're going to win the lawsuit or lose? Leave your comments. Just to be clear, I, like, I, I'm betting that not just because of the tone of the questions from the judge and these kind of things. I'm betting that because I think the facts are on our side. Yep. I'm betting that because the law is on our side. And I think the yep. SEC has massively overstepped yep. and to try to take kind of jurisdictional ownership over something that is... You know, I think they saw this gray area, they're like, hey, we're gonna go in. Uh, it's a big gray area. Again, the fact that they're going after XRP but not Ethereum is like, it raises a lot of red flags, question marks, okay? And the judge, to Brad Garlinghouse's point, the judge sees the corruption and is telling the SEC, hey, like, what are you doing? What's your agenda with all of this? Why are you attacking XRP only? But it, look, it's frustrating that it's taken this long. Uh, there's a lot of companies yep. I think realize how important this case is to the whole industry. Yep. Uh, so, you know, knock on wood. And all of you watching right now, you know how important this is. That is why you're watching. And again, it can be frustrating to see your XRP not to break all-time highs in the previous bull run, just like Bitcoin and Ethereum broke their all-time highs by like 2, 3x. XRP was one of the only cryptocurrencies to not break this all-time high. And it can be very frustrating, but it's just a matter of time until the truth is exposed. Until we see the truth and the whole world will see the truth. There's some that think we're gonna win. I happen to be one of them. Okay. Yep. I think we're gonna win too. Literally, I think we're gonna win. Okay, so but even if you don't win, you it's Look. operation and as usual, you're probably just not gonna be a very US centric company. So if XRP loses the lawsuits against the SEC, it won't really make that much of a difference anyways, because we already have been attacked from left to right. All the major exchanges basically delisted XRP, so it's not gonna make that much of a difference. But if we win, then we're gonna see a massive pump, okay? So that is why I believe right now at 35 cents is a big, big discount. This is a steal. In the next few years, you will not be able to buy XRP anywhere near this price, okay? So that is why you wanna take advantage of these low, low prices. And that is why you wanna destroy the like button and subscribe, join us if you have not yet already. Again, enter the 1000 HBAR giveaway by entering your email address at amenwithlech.com. The links will be down below. And I want all of you to send this video to all of your family and friends that are invested in XRP. Let them see also the truth of your Ripple XRP. And if you know anyone that's speaking smack that hates XRP, that's saying that XRP and Ripple are gonna lose and it's a scam and they should sell and like basically that XRP is a stable coin, send them this video as well. Let them see for their own eyes the fact that the SEC is going after XRP and cryptos that are built off of Ethereum, but they're not going after Ethereum is a big red flag that there is corruption with the SEC. So this video has exposed the truth of your Ripple XRP. And again, destroy the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you join us if you have not yet already. And I will see y'all very soon. Until next time, y'all know what it is. Mr. Mufleh. Out.